What's going on on my YouTube videos? I'm Jacob and welcome to another installment of Revisiting Veggie Tales where each week I review an episode of Veggie Tales, the classic Christian animated show from my childhood with talking vegetables and silly songs. And in this week's review we'll be taking a look at the 2011 Easter special, Twas the Night Before Easter. Twas the Night Before Easter was released in 2011. It was Big Idea's second Easter special on Veggie Tales following an Easter Carol, which I thought was a pretty solid episode. Twas the Night Before Easter tells Petunia her character is trying to get in the theater. She's trying to save her rundown theater, and she wants to put on this big Easter play along with Larry the Cucumber. She wants to bring in a local celebrity talent and to perform the Big Easter show. However, the church down the street wants her to perform in the church pageant on Easter Sunday. So there's this big friction between Petunia and Pastor Bob. Wait a minute. Something about this plot sounds familiar. Where have I heard this story before? Oh, wait! This is the Star of Christmas! Yeah, the Twas the Night Before Easter is essentially a carbon copy of the Star of Christmas, but as an Easter special. Now, going in, I heard this was seen as one of the worst VeggieTales episodes. A lot of people tended to really hate on Twas the Night Before Easter, and now having watched the episode, I have a feeling a lot of the reasons people hated it is because... It technically rips off another episode and it is nowhere as good. The Star of Christmas, by the way, is easily my favorite of the VeggieTales Christmas specials. That one had heart. That one had meaning. The humor is there. The songs are pretty good. And there's a lot of feels hitting moments in that one. And it's some of the best messagings that Big Idea has ever done. Twas the Night Before Easter, on the other hand... It definitely feels a lot shallow in comparison. You're copying the same story. And Petunia is just nowhere as charismatic, let's say, as Bob was when Bob was doing that character role in The Star of Christmas. But you still get some cool Easter stuff. I actually don't think this is a horrible episode. I actually did enjoy a lot of the humor in this episode. I think the humor in this episode is actually pretty above average. There's actually spoofs and parodies to different reality competition shows like America's Got Talent and American Idol. And as somebody who did watch those shows back in the day, seeing some of those references spoofed within VeggieTales I thought was actually pretty funny. Especially some of the crazy auditions. If I try my best to do this right, then maybe I will get it. I love it! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next! La, 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 la. It was very karaoke. <laughs> That's Poochie Dog. I actually didn't mind some of the songs in this either. They actually brought in a former contestant on American Idol that play the guest character that's a big part of the conflict. And I actually do enjoy her talents within the episode. I actually thought it livened up some of the musical numbers in this episode. So I thought that was pretty refreshing. Think about God's love. When I think of Easter, oh. it's all the love of God. Love God. Sending a son from heaven above to teach me how to love. Yeah, the messaging is a bit shallow, I think, of the two VeggieTales Easter specials. I think the heart of Easter was done better in an Easter carol. This just felt a lot shallow, and it's like, hey, just remember the true meaning of Easter, it's Jesus, that's pretty much all that this is, and I just didn't have the same meaning that an Easter Carol had when an Easter Carol had a big musical number that was all about the story of Jesus and his death and burial and resurrection and stuff like that. I feel like an Easter Carol did it a lot better and a lot more powerful. This one just felt like it was going through the motions. I think that might be why people don't like it either is it feels shallow in comparison to some of the episodes of the past which had a lot more weight to it along with the out-of-the-box humor. But I will say this, of the last couple episodes of VeggieTales that I have experienced for the first time, what sets apart Twas the Night Before Easter 
One, it is well animated. We have another well animated VeggieTales episode. The last couple VeggieTales episodes were very rough. Especially Sweet Pea Beauty, which was just so broken in the way it was visualized. Here it feels like updated technology that's actually done with care. I actually did enjoy the animation in this one, and I do enjoy the songs. Even the silly song, the Hopperina, as cringy as that sounds, uh, VeggieTales spoofing the Macarena feels, what, 15 years too late at this point when that episode came out? Hop to the left, we do the Hopperina. Then hop to the right, I love the Hopperina. Back to the left, and do it once again. Uh. Ooh, Hopperina! But... I actually did kind of mildly enjoy that one, honestly. It's sung by the French Peas. I love the French Peas. Those are some of the funniest side characters. And any silly song that has Archibald doing this. Earns a huge level of respect for me. That was hilarious. All around. Twas the Night Before Easter, while I can't say it's an episode that I like per se, I do have quite a few issues with it. The fact that it copied the Star of Christmas and not being near as good as the Star of Christmas does hurt it a lot. I do think the message is a bit shallow compared to some of the previous holiday specials, especially when you compare it to their Christmas specials and even an Easter Carol in comparison. But... Was the night before Easter, I don't think is a stink pile. When you compare this to some of the stinker episodes, especially Wonderful World of Autotainment, and especially Sweet Pea Beauty, at least Was the night before Easter has a little bit of effort put into it. The songs are actually pretty good. It's well animated. There's still a lot of entertainment value, especially with the humor and the characters that are within the episode. While it doesn't fully hit the mark, I think it's a decent enough time, especially for longtime VeggieTales fans. I think it just depends on your expectations and what you're going for. I had low expectations going in because I heard this was a bad episode, and I came out of it thinking, eh, this one was okay. I didn't think it was that bad. I st I'm still going to give it a mixed grade like I did with last week's episode, It's a Meaningful Life, because I don't think it's a good episode or a great episode. It's tolerable. That's the best way of putting it. This is a tolerable episode, has has some highs, has some lows, but it just balances itself out to it being an eh type episode. But here, compared to some of the past episodes, especially Sweet Pea Beauty, the fact that we have an okay episode is better than garbage. And that's good enough for me at the end of the day because I'd rather see okay episodes than bad episodes, especially after how awful Sweet Pea Beauty was. That one just hurt my soul so much. As for Twas the Night Before Easter, I'll be giving that episode a 3 out of 5 stars, and on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 55 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Twas the Night Before Easter as part of my Revisiting VeggieTales series, where each week I review a classic episode of VeggieTales, a nostalgic show from my childhood. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're a fan of VeggieTales, I'll leave a link in the description below for a playlist where you can check out all the reviews I've done in this series so far. I've reviewed all of the classic episodes that I have all the nostalgia for and that I grew up watching, all the classic episodes from Where's God When I'm Scared all the way to The Wonderful Wizards of Oz. I'm now in the era where I have no nostalgia for any of these episodes, and I'm reviewing all these later episodes for the first time. I reviewed so many episodes at this point, so if you're a fan of VeggieTales and would like to catch up on my past videos, feel free to click the link in the description below to catch up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of future VeggieTales reviews. Join me next time in this series where I'll be taking a look at The Princess and the Pop Star. See, that sounds like a cringy title. I'm not really that excited for that one. That just looks like a bad disaster episode waiting to happen. Hopefully Big Idea proves me wrong. I'll find out next week. So be on the lookout for my review of The Princess and the Pop Star coming to the channel next week. But if you've seen Twas the Night Before Easter, what did you think of the episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Or were you like me and were mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. And remember, God made you special, and he loved you very much. Goodbye!